Okay, next up, we're looking at conjugate acids and bases. So we just need to remember that according to Bronsted-Lowry acid-base theory, we have acids as proton donors and bases as proton acceptors. And so if we write out an equation for that, that means HA plus B minus is going to give us A minus plus HB. All of this is an aqueous solution. And if you go ahead and label these, this would be our acid and its conjugate base. This would be our base and its conjugate acid. If we write out the base version of this equation, we would have um, B minus plus H2O to get you HB plus OH minus. Again, label them. This would be your base. Water would be acting as your acid. And this would be your conjugate acid and your conjugate base. Okay, and so if we write out um, the same equations for what we've, been, what we've been given, we can identify what the conjugate base is going to be and what the conjugate acid is going to be. And so, um, since we're looking for the conjugate base of HSO4 minus, let's write out this equation for it. So we have HSO4 minus plus a base that we're just going to label in the same way, so B minus is going to give me um, SO4 2 minus plus HB. And so since this is my acid, this is going to be my conjugate base. And so the conjugate base of HSO4 is going to be the sulfate ion. So let's go ahead and write that out. Okay, and now let's look for the conjugate acid of um, HSO4. So we're going to be using this equation. And so we'll have, um, in this case, HSO4 minus is acting as our base. So we have HSO4 minus plus H2O to give us um, H2SO4 plus OH minus. So this would mean that because this is our base, this is going to be our conjugate acid. And so the conjugate acid of HSO4 minus is going to be sulfuric acid. And that's it.